Hi guys, it's Ben Sarandi, and today we're going to be looking at using the ADC, which is the analog to digital converter, on the Atmel SAM D21 Explained Pro Board. So if you go ahead and go to start.atmel.com, and as usual, click Create New Project, and select the D21 Explained Pro Board. Click Create New Project. And let's go ahead and rename this. We'll call this ADC example. Now click add software component. And for the drivers, we're going to add the ADC driver. And let's rename that to battery. ADC. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be measuring the voltage on an alkaline battery. So I'll show you the circuit set up in a minute, but for now let's just get the project going. Now we're going to be using the ADC sync driver. And we're going to be using VRefP. And we're going to use PB00, which is analog input 8 on the D21 board, as our input. Now if you scroll down, our conversion resolution is going to be 12 bits. You do have 8 and 10 and 16 bits as well. But 12 bit is sort of the compromise between accuracy and speed. Our voltage reference, which this is the reference we're going to measure the ADC value against is going to be external reference B. Our prescalar configuration is the peripheral clock divided by 128. Our positive input, which is the voltage that we're measuring in, is going to be ADC AN8, which is what we selected up here. And our negative selection is the internal ground, so we'll just use the ground on the board for this. So with the external reference B, what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a connection between the 3.3 volt output of the board and the reference input so that we're measuring against the 3.3 volt reference. Okay, and then we're going to add something that we can print out our values to. So if you go to middleware and go to utilities and SDDIO redirect, click add component. And if you click on our target I.O., we're going to be using PA23 and 22, which is the EDBG output. And if we set our board rate to 19200, and let's go ahead and export this project. Okay, once that's downloaded, let's go ahead and open the project. Okay, so if we go to our main.c file and we want to include stdio. And we're also going to set up some ADC calculation values. So, the first one is our reference voltage, which is 3.3 volts, but we actually measure in millivolts on the ADC, so that's the equivalent of 3,300 millivolts. Now, we're using a 12-bit uh, ADC counter, which has a maximum value of 4095. So 
when the input voltage on the ADC pin is at 3.3 volts, we'll get 4095 as our reading. And we want to save this as a float because we're going to be doing a division in a moment. So if we define our ADC lowest significant bit millivolts, and that's our reference divided by our count. So what this is, is whatever value we get through the ADC, we multiply it by this value, and that tells us how many millivolts the reading is. Okay, next up, we're going to create a union structure for readings. So type definition union. And we'll call this U reading. And it's going to have a 16 bit integer value. And two 8 bits, which are our character values. So this is just an easy way to store two values in the same address. So what we get from the ADC is we'll actually get uh, an array of two 8-bit integers. And if we want to convert that to the absolute value, we just convert it to a 16-bit integer. Sorry, that should actually be an unsigned integer. Next up, we're going to create our float for our battery voltage reading. And a variable for our actual hard-coded reading value. Okay, now let's create our battery reading method. Uh, just quickly before I do this, actually, we have one more definition, and that is the number of readings we're going to take. So what we actually do with the ADC is we take multiple readings and then we get the average value. And we do this because there can be a little bit of fluctuation and a little bit of noise on the ADC line. So we'll set that as 512. And again, we'll use a float because we're going to be doing a division later. Okay, so if we go back to our read battery level method, and then we're going to create a sum for our readings and set that to zero and then we're going to loop through and take a reading with a short delay between each reading so read from the adc I'm going to read from battery ADC, from channel 0, and I'm going to read battery reading dot C into the characters, and we're going to read 2 bytes. Okay, and once we've got that reading, we're going to add it to the sum. And here we use the integer value. And then we're going to delay.
by 20 nanoseconds. And then finally, we're going to calculate the battery voltage from these values. So first off, we take the average value. And then we times that by the number of millivolts per increment in the ADC reading. And then we divide the whole thing by a thousand to get volts instead of millivolts. Okay, and finally, let's get our main project set up. So enable the ADC. On channel zero. Let's enable UART. And then in our while loop, let's read the battery level. And print the reading. And then finally, let's delay by five seconds. Now, the next thing to do is we need to make sure that we can print floats using the printf command. So if we go to the project properties, make sure we've got our D21 plugged in. And then if we go to toolchain, and under the ARM GNU linker, select miscellaneous. And under other objects, click add item. And we're going to type hyphen LC hyphen U underscore printf underscore float. And what this does is this tells the compiler to compile printf with support for printing out floating point numbers. Okay, now I'm just going to go and show you how we've got our D21 Explain Pro dev board set up. Okay, so what we have here is a standard C-type battery. And we've got positive line going to PB0 on the board. So that's the red wire. The black wire is connected to the board ground and then as you can see we've also got that white wire which is our ADC reference voltage and that's coming from the 3.3 volt out pin at the top of the board and that goes into PA04 on the middle of the board. Okay so once we've got our compiler set up if we go to the data visualizer and make sure We've got the EDBG virtual COM port set. Set that to 19200 and click connect. And then let's run our application. Okay, and as you can see, our battery is reading at 1.63 volts, which is about right. So alkaline batteries even though they're labeled at 1.5 volts most of them when you get them brand new out of the box read at around about 1.6 to 1.62 volts so there we go i hope this has been useful uh, if you've got any questions please feel free to drop me a message in the comments below um, as with everything else this is also available on github for you to download and use the code yourself cheers guys i'll see you soon 
Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy here. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, please click like, please subscribe to my channel, and please feel free to add any comments if you've got any suggestions for tutorials or videos that I can do. Thanks very much, guys.